Here's my uh, CRF 300L. Got it up on the up front on the wheel choke, back on the pit bull stand. I even have a little ATV jack, motorcycle jack there. Uh, this, so this is what I got right here. Just got it delivered today. It took forever to get here. For some reason it was stuck on uh, was it FedEx or UPS? It was like stuck in place for like a whole week. Anyways. So RNG, I thought the R, uh, thought RNG was a US company, but it's not. It's a it's a European company. It's actually from the UK. So here, country of origin, UK. So I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought it was a US company. But anyway, so let's look at it. Let's open it up. Oh, it's in this Ziploc sealed bag. That's kind of cool. A lot bigger too. Damn, looks nice. So, as you can see, it's a uh, uh, foot pad. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. No, it's, yeah, it's this way. It's a foot pad. So, uh, looking at it, I could tell it's, uh, it's been machine. You know, it's all CNC machine. I could see the pad in here, a little bit of the pad in. This right here is stainless. This top plate here is stainless. The bottom is aluminum. I'm not sure what type, but you know, now that's a hefty weight too. And it's thick. Look how thick that is. That's that looks about three eighths of an inch. But you know, this is from the European company, so they use me metric. So I have no idea what what the millimeters is. You know, I, I don't want to bust out my calipers. So just eyeballing it, I say it's about three three eighths of an inch, possibly. So it looks like a three millimeter, I think. Three millimeter Allen. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, I don't have any Allen keys that are well, or Allen uh, sock Allen on the socket. That's the smallest one I have is a four millimeter for on the socket wrench. Maybe I should look look for a uh, look for a uh, sucker wrench that are smaller that that fits on a uh, quarter inch drive instead of a three eighths inch drive. Because that again, my the smallest one I have on a on a socket is a it's a four millimeter and it's uh, it's a three eighths inch drive. Uh, so I never actually never I don't think I ever bothered looking for a uh, socket that's. Uh, it's on a quarter inch. I should though. It's so much easier to use a socket <laughs> than it is to use like a Allen key or this 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 thing. This is for like a bicycle. This is like for like a bicycle. So that's that. I believe you stick this thing on the bottom here. Uh, I think. And from there you just kind of push this up. Or maybe you don't stick that on the bottom. Actually, let's see. Let's look at the instructions. It looks like uh, something you would stick on the bottom, but putting on this on right here you see right here the the metal right here the upper lip right here actually sticks up slightly more you know like half a millimeter more than the actual uh, plate does so if you put that foam there it's gonna easily stick up probably two millimeters uh, so let's see what they have to say because lots of times you put a little cushion in between the two just because you know it reduces the noise and if there's any vibration or whatever. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Strip of adhesive foam. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, only if the if fitting to older use stands where there's there's wear you know there's wear down here, then then you use the foam to take up that space because as this wears you know it gets thinner right, so that's what they say to take to use uh, to take up the space. 
so the wood isn't tight fit but the way it is right now i mean i've only had this thing for well i've had it for a month now well, i actually i see a little bit of wear on this forward corner but i've only had it for like a month and literally this thing only has 50 miles 60 miles i haven't even read it since i rode it back from from the um from the bike shop and the reason why is because you know, I have all the stuff that I'm, I'm putting on it, and I want to do that with the bike's clean. I'm just too lazy to uh, to wash the bike. You know, I actually hate washing bikes. Uh, so I'm too lazy to wash, but also... Um, also... Okay, yeah, sticks good. I need some Loctite on here. I need a, need a blue Loctite, I think. I need a safety Loctite. Usually anything anywhere there's vibration usually at the end of something that sticks out. Yeah, do that type. Um anything at the end of something where something vibrates when it's all the way at the end it vib it tends to vibrate even more. Um so let me go grab the lock type real quick. Yeah, so the reason why I'm at fifty miles on this thing is because Again, it has to do with with the. Uh, See, so yeah, so the reason why I have a uh, only fifty miles is, is I hate washing a bike. Uh, so I didn't want to get all dirty. I had to wash it to put stuff on. And you know, when you put things on, when you work on a bike, you, sh you know it should be clean. Don't work on a dirty bike. That's that's a really bad habit because that's how you get garbage crap and every, every things everywhere where you don't want it to be where you want it to be clean so so that's a little, just a little advice let me shake, shake this up so that's why i haven't really written this much since i got it i haven't written it at all i should say since i got it because of that reason uh, so yeah i didn't want to didn't want to have to wash it basically each time because uh, I hate washing bikes it just takes forever washing a bike because it's you know it's not like a car where there's just a flat surface where you wipe and this you know and you're good when there's a bike you have all those nooks and crannies and man it's just too much work I don't have time for that so I usually only wash my bike once a year usually wash my bike at at the end, end of the rainy season which is usually may like sometime in may uh i wash my bikes and that's it all the other time i don't i just leave it as is uh, unless i'm unless i'm selling a bike then i wash it i wash it but otherwise that or if i'm gonna work on a bike i will wash it too but again i just don't like to do that extra work okay so i got my loctite in there it's nice and clean the bottom is pretty clean it's a little bit scratched up towards the front side but you know it's still nice and flat right here so there's no there shouldn't be any uh there should be any um any problems oops shouldn't be any problems uh, um With the things, you know, being a, a loose fit, where which rattle and such. So yeah, so that's so that's the reason why I haven't ridden much. It's because the uh, I, I don't you know I don't want to wash it and it's also it's been raining pretty much most of most of december it was raining it's only kind of stopped raining this past week shoot can't even reach this side i have to get the allen key yeah i can't even reach that okay let me go grab the allen key that's a three millimeter I have one of the sets I have is these short stubby ones 
for this very situation where when, when there's something that you know where the space is tight you get in there and not uh, and not, and be able to reach it and use the ball the ball and the ball in is kind of pretty useful too whoever thought that up was pretty smart actually all the people that actually thought up all the all the tools and stuff i think are pretty smart usually engineers but not not always engineers uh, or or they or, the, or when i say not engineers i mean not like a not a formally formally trained engineer it's usually these self-taught folks okay so cinch this down let's start in here so this is five of them i'm gonna do it sort of like a star pattern check this in here Actually, no, actually, I should say the, the the ends that have the long, the furthest apart from each other. Basically, as far as how how tight I'm doing it, watch watch how I'm doing it. I guess, uh, oops, just like right here, basically. And I feel and also see a little bit of flex in my. Uh, Especially when the, when you're using a thinner Allen key, you know it flexes a certain amount, and that's about it. I'm like, okay, that's good. Again, this thing is uh, gonna be locked. It's you know it's locked tight anyway, so it should should uh, you, know, you don't want to get it too tight because when you take it off, you have to not just fight the uh, the tightness of the how tight it's on, but also fight the lock tight. And with a small little screw um, Allen head like this, you might not be able to take it off because this. Well, maybe not the tool, but the, the head itself, the bolt, the screw head itself might strip on you. So take it easy on that. So that's it. That's the RNG. That's a really nice piece. Very nice piece. I should take take it off and set it down to see how it sits. Uh, so as is the factory, uh, this was the front corner up up over here that was mainly touching the uh, the ground. So with this piece, I would see this. I would say it's the same thing because this thing is flat. So this piece is flat, so I would say the, the front right here is, is the, the first thing that touches the ground. But So uh, I think I'm going to take this off the stand. I'm just going to leave it as is for, for now. Like that. No, actually, you know what? I will. Let's, let's, let's move all the stuff out of the way here. Uh, let, me actually, let me stop the camera and make another clip. Okay, so it's on the, on the stand now. The side stand yeah like i said it's, it touches the front the front corner up here uh this side all this back here here is all kind of lifted up lifted up lifted up until about right here the last these this section right here that that much is uh touching towards that front corner but also because of the stickness it actually raises the uh it raises the uh the back a little bit so that's good uh but then you know i i have I have in rear, you know, uh, at least a new rear shock. Anyways, I'm gonna put in the uh, front springs uh, soon. Uh, you know, because the, the factory sh springs are pretty soft, so it, so the bike actually because of the soft, you know, how soft it is, it leans the bike even more. Right, it leans the bike even more when you park it, but uh, uh, compared to factory, because factory is soft, so so uh, it squishes down a little bit. But with the new new spring setup I have, it's firmer, so it, it's gonna it won't squish the bike. The special won't squish down as much, so the the bike itself will actually lean more because it's not squished as much uh, with this with this thicker uh, thicker uh, uh, foot peg here, or not foot peg uh, um, foot stand. Uh, since it's a little thicker, it will help strain up the bike slightly. Uh, but it's still, it's still leaning over pretty good, but that's all right. I'm okay with it. So that's it. Uh, well, this is a really nice piece, nicely made, uh, you know, machined and everything. And even this top silver stainless part right here, it's, uh, well, it's meant from a sheet, like a, like a 16 gauge or something like that, sheet, uh, that's been, uh, that has a brush finish and that thing that comes, comes, it comes like that when you, cause you can buy stainless 
uh, sheets in different finishes like mirror finish, brush finish, whatever, whatever. So, anyways, it looks really nice. Actually, oh, let me put it up. Oh, I forgot to put it up so you guys could see how it looks when it's kicked up, right? Actually, let's do that. Okay, as you can see, it's back on the uh, uh, front wheel choke or choke, I should say. Choke, I like to say choke. Choke just sounds funny. Uh, let's kick this up. Right there. Okay. So let's see how much space we have here. Uh, so we've got a pretty good amount of space. All right. So there's uh, that's probably an inch between the uh, right here and the swing arm. But obviously, when the swing arm compresses, the swing arm will move up. So there's probably yeah, that's enough space. I mean, unless you crash and it lands here and bends the the uh, the uh, the kickstand, uh, it's you know there's plenty of clearance in here. So yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.